So we got to camp number one, hiked about 3.48 miles today. First camp is by a river. It's really nice. Our tents are right behind me. I'm having Thanksgiving. It's like mashed potato, stuffing, cranberry corn, and then I cut up some spam in it. It's pretty good. And then one of my group mates brought dessert for everyone, which is nice, but yeah, just eating now. Good morning, so it is day two today, Friday. I have to keep looking at my watch to keep track, but last night we camped by this really pretty river, which you can probably hear. Um, but yeah, feeling okay, not too sore anywhere. Um, today we're gonna try and do eight miles to combine the next two days so that we have a rest day when the weather's supposed to be bad. So it's kind of the plan for today. Um, but yeah, this morning I just had a pro bar for the first day, trying to get my appetite back a little bit. But yeah, um, last night I slept pretty good because I wore earplugs, so I'm not listening to like every little sound. But yeah, today we're going to be doing a lot of river crossing, so my Keen's on with wool socks. Should be good. But yeah, it's day two. I'm homesick. Little lonely. What are you gonna do? No turning back now. Moira's demonstrating. Damn! <laughs> Okay, so you go like Ooh. this, and then you go like this, and then you like get your knee up, and my water bottle always falls yeah, out. So screw it. <laughs> nose falls out. And then I just bounce, like I just wiggle. Okay. And I get my other arm in. Where do you so want like this? this? Like that. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Yes. You did it. Yes. Uh, I think you Dude, what? That was not successful. Of course, the time that I'm like the one time it's on yeah, video. Hey, JJ. Oh yeah, <laughs> definitely. I need to start keeping my phone. Hiking. So the Badger Tumet is kind of the beginning of where the mountains meet the prairie and right down on where the, the transition is like really into prairie, there are some huge, huge aspen groves. What's over here? I'm vlogging, just so you know. Whoop, 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 whoop. Oh, you got hey me there. taking pictures? I did. <laughs> so this is where it's on fire. <laughs> fire. Right. Unfortunately, it's not also where we are. We are way up here. Fortunately, Here's right? Not unfortunately. Um, well, it depends on your perspective. Wait, Adam, where are we at? Up here? We're hanging out. We're on the Badger map. Badger Guard Station. I believe that that... We're, yeah, we're on one oh. of these. Oh, okay, so we've this passed that. Cat, that uh huh. So is that That's where we are, yeah. <laughs> wow. We made it to the Badger Guard Station. Ooh, ah. Those aspens are so orange. So cool. Ooh. 
Doesn't look like anyone is here though. The step was the last one. What did we just yeah. do, guys? We crossed that thing. Woo! It was deeper than it looks, yeah. and it's cold <laughs> out. It is really cold out. Burr. So we did it. Yeah. Okay. There's okay. Bear. Ungulate. This is a I wanna wolf see. Track and I've never seen a wolf track that big. Ever. I want to yes. see it. It's right here. Okay. 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 So I want to get the cougar up close. Cougar up there. Cool. Uh, I don't want to step well, up. Here's the cougar. Been running up and down yeah. Yeah. Well, this is so cool. Well, Could you get one really close up without yeah, wolf print for me? My phone is so buried and I'm a little mad at myself. That wolf print is Whoa, Today first taking a video of all these. See the claws? Yeah. These are so cool. And then the ones that yeah. look like wolves. Because the way that, because I thought elk, do elk, do they like go apart or is it more like a deer and they're kind of closer together? Elk go apart more. Okay. So they've, and they've got larger lobes at the bottom. Okay. That are kind of more, more of a distinct kind of like a half, um, and that's this sort of, I can't remember technically what it's called, but it's sort of this like, We just saw the coolest mud patch of tracks ever. We saw bears, mountain lions, wolves, raccoon, elk, deer. So, so cool. Put a huge smile on my face. So we just got to our, I don't know, we've been mixing up days. Actually, like, yes, we are. Are we? Yeah, you wanna see? Yeah. yeah so. Okay, so we hiked through a bunch of different country today. The landscape has been changing so much. Like first we started out down in like a river bottom valley and now we are coming into like a lot more burn areas and just really high vegetation with burn trees and aspens. And to me it just like screams bear, which there are a lot of bears and wolves. Um, did I mention in this vlog last night, we howled for the wolves and like we did that once before and we didn't get anything and so um, one person howled at him and it was amazing because I was expecting like if we got a reply and like if 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 it would be really far away maybe just one but oh, like one started and then a bunch joined in it was so cool and um, it kept going and then they howled once more and it kept going it was like a whole conversation that was definitely really really cool um, so cool to hear that and a bit scary like some of them were close um, but yeah, I heard wolf howls, so cool. Um, but yeah, we are a little ahead of schedule as far as our route planning and um, where we set up camp. We're scouting for a site now because this riverbed is really rocky and not that good for tents. Um, but we have water access, but they're just kind of looking, I think, a place where a good camp could be. It's like almost six now. <laughs> Ah, uh, never mind, it's after six, like six ten, and it's chilly today. Like when I stop moving, it's cold and it's windy, but we didn't get any rain today, which is kind of nice, um, but yeah. Good morning, so I just woke up um, for the second time, but for the day officially. Um, this is where we camped last night. I call it Wailing Wind Flat because ever since we got here, the wind has just been going like crazy, nonstop. Um, but yeah, it's drizzling a little now. That's the first rain that we've really had so far, which is nice. Um, but yeah, people are starting to get up. We're gonna have breakfast. Hope I can eat. But yeah. The rainbow. So creepy. I think it's coming our way. So, I am here with Haley Hi. and Jamie Yo. <laughs> and JJ. Hi. We're all doing laundry right now while well, Jamie's waiting for her hair to be braided. It's been like 15 minutes. <laughs> She's still waiting, still waiting for JJ to braid her hair. <laughs> um, but we're just doing laundry today because today is a rest day. It's today day four. Today's day four. Wow. It is Sunday. 
It is the beginning the of Sunday. Tomorrow's it's fall. the beginning of the second third of our trip. Wow. We just finished the first third. That's weird to think about. Um, but yeah, we're just doing laundry and having a rest day. We're gonna like do our journal assignments, some of them. And get stuff done and just really rest. Tomorrow we're starting like the hard part, kind of. There's gonna be elevation and longer days, so yeah. It's a little bit chill chill, but um, the sun keeps coming out and then going back in and it's like been spitting rain kind of all morning on and off, but yeah. Just doing laundry now and having a rest day. Update. Goodbye, son. This is our campsite for the night. We had kind of a weird day because we had a really small hike because we weren't sure. We were waiting to meet up with the other group, but then we weren't sure if um, there was water or not where we were going. So it was, it was weird. We went to like a lake and then we backtracked to camp here because the sites by the lake were not safe to camp by, so we are here, and I have named this site Mountainous Exposure. So I feel very exposed here, but also there's like mountains everywhere, and the sky is so pretty. We have a really tough few days ahead of us, but we're gonna be getting lots of elevation. But the sky right now is just so pretty. I'm gonna get my hat out because it is gonna get cold very soon. <laughs> Super weird. Yeah, my okay, email. Email. How did he know my last name though? This is the house with like bright yellow splotches in the gray, like on the west side. Like just all the different patterns and colors over there. But they're subtle. I love like subtle contrast. Like in so it is day, oh sunscreen, hello. It is day um, six today. Yeah, day six and we climbed up a lot of incline, um, and we're now waiting for the rest of the group up on this really cool little plateau with mountains all around. Um, I put my layers back on because it's super sweaty, didn't want to get cold, but it reminds me a little bit of St. Mary's Peak. Um, just like, I don't even know if we're set up yet, but it's... It's getting there, as you can see. But yeah, today we are going to Kyle Craig Lake. Um, the plan is to have a rest day there, then tomorrow, and then have a long stretch of a hike the next day with, like, no water, and then um, the next day hike out. So we have four more days, including today. But yeah, we just basically climbed up this whole, I don't know what you call it, canyon. Um, it was tough, but I made it, and yeah, I'm just writing a little in my, um, field notebook, but we're just waiting on the other group, and then we're gonna keep going. Alright, today is Tuesday. What's today? Is it the 22nd? <laughs> oh shoot. Hold this. I'll check. Hold on. We don't know nothing in the world of this. It is indeed the 22nd of the month of September. It is windy as shit. That's why it why it's never cold. Looks like a rainstorm. Milady Andrea's a bit chilly. 
we're kind of preparing for some rain, getting some drops. <laughs> we got JJ. Huh? And we got Moira. Huh? And they're chilling on the ground. Oh, I was literally laying down I thought you were trying rock. to talk to me. I was like, what are you saying? Can you still take a picture of me huddled like a homeless person clutching an emergency packet? Like, oh, it's like that Wreck-It Ralph. You guys All right. Wreck-It I'm glad I caught that on video. <laughs> Anyway, we're almost to Ky Kayo Craig Lake. We think it might be this little little bit of water down there. Little little bit. Right right there. Yeah, right there. We're hoping. We just climbed up this giant ass drainage. It was a lot of work. It's windy, it's cold, it's probably gonna rain. The trail continues up to another mountain over there. That is gonna be for another day though. Yeah, windy. All right, that's all for now. My lady Andrea, do you wish to wish to say some parting words? Uh, if you don't hear from us again, we did. <laughs> we did. Words, words of wisdom there. Don't come searching neither. We want the bears to get us. tent right now. Um, we are having another rest day today. Um, I realized I did not vlog at all yesterday afternoon. Basically, we did 6.6 .6 miles, which isn't that much, but it was pretty tough. It was like uphill a ton, and it was probably the hardest hike I've done. Um, There's just a lot of, lot of uphill and like straight up sections, especially the pack on. <laughs> it was really tough, but um, we got to like the highest point of our hike and then down in the valley we could see the lake that we were going to and it was still so far and I was like Ugh. but the good news is that it was down um, from there on pretty much so yeah we got here it was like kind of storming when we were up there and then as soon as we got here though the clouds just opened up and sunlight hit as soon as I started pitching my tent because I was so worried about setting up in the rain I'm just like prayers answered thank you it was so nice it was beautiful um but yeah today's a rest day tomorrow we're doing a section of hike that's not gonna have any water access most likely and it's nine miles so a little worried about that but um yeah oh last night we saw two grizzly bears someone pointed across the hill that's literally right by our tents and there's two grizzlies running and they're very big and blonde and um, as you can tell it's very windy um, but they're really big and blonde and they were just running and then they stopped turned around like looked at us and then kept running so it's kind of almost the reaction like they were running they're like Let's go down the lake get some water and they saw us and like oh shoot and ran away so it was good that they ran and didn't weren't like running towards us um but yeah yesterday was just a really tough long day but good news i ate my entire dinner for the first time which was nice um i haven't been able to eat much i don't know if i've said that but i've had no appetite this whole time it's really frustrating can't finish any of my meals until last night so that was good um but yeah um, what else? It's my little tent set up. But yeah, I probably won't vlog anything else the rest of the day because it's just been rest day really chill. Um, and we're doing some group stuff tonight, I think. Um, and yeah, tomorrow will be our last full day and then the next day we hike out. It's kind of crazy. It's also really crazy being like, Oh wow, this has been seven days so far. <laughs> like what? It's really weird, but yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Say hi. Hello. Yeah.
All right, so it is getting dark now and I wanted to do a vlog today because I haven't vlogged all day. And I wanted to say a little bit of why. Um, basically, we left Kyle Crag Lake in a complete downpour and we we're gonna go up further into the high country and it was just insane. We were all soaked. We basically started hiking on the ridge line. It was cold, it was very wet, and the wind, like it was probably some of the worst wind I've been in. And it was pushing me over. And we're going like uphill, a ton of elevation, and it was just so bad. We had nine miles to do that day, and we had to like scale this other mountain, and finally we like gotten some shelter of trees, met with our other trek leader, and they're like, this is not safe. We should take the evac route back down because we were making a loop. And so they're like, we should take the route that cuts across back down to like the low country where it's safer and not as windy. And like, we were all soaked through and shivering at that point and it just did not sound good. So we came back down, which was very reassuring, but also disappointing because we didn't get to finish our route and see what the last two legs would have looked like. But you know, at that point in time, I was just like, I want to be warm and safe and not be in this anymore. We came down and it was weird because we came down to where our camp two campsite was for lunch. It was just still freezing and then only about midday it opened up but then it went back and forth between rain and now it's raining a little bit again. Um, but yeah, we're back like where we were the first day and stuff and the second day and it's so weird to like look back and I'm just reminisce. But um, tomorrow is the last day we're hiking out. <laughs> It's really weird. I don't even know what I'm gonna do when I see the car or the toilet. What? I've been eight days in the wilderness and we got a fire going. Tomorrow is the very last day we are hiking out back to the vehicles. We don't even have that much farther to go now because this campsite was our plan B because the other group was at the campsite we were going to. So we put in, I think we put in quite a few miles today. I just wanted to update because I did not vlog at all today and that's why we are like in unsafe situations of weather. It's probably one of the toughest days. That and the other day to get to Kyle Craig Lake was very tough, but I'm looking forward to sleeping tonight and hiking out in the morning and seeing everyone. Anyway, it's getting windy, so I'm gonna go eat. Bye -bye. That's real friendship right there. So I know you can't see me right now, but I wanted to say that I found out that today we hiked 13 and a half miles. What? That is a lot, especially for backpacking. Like our goal today was nine with the original one. And we went 13 and a half. Man oh man. We are almost back to the parking lot. So I see the cars. Also, I'm losing my voice because yesterday, I don't know if you can hear me, but yesterday we were hiking up that ridge line I was talking about with the worst weather ever. It was almost impossible. And I was breathing really hard and the wind was like whipping us over. And then yesterday and today my voice is like kind of, kind of losing it. But you know, I can't believe it. I can't believe I've been So we stopped on the way home to get food and we're just waiting for food now. Um, me and Haley and Adam all rode together. But yeah, our food is ready and I'm excited and I'm cold and I don't know what civilization is. It's so weird. 
first real food in nine days. It mm. looks so, so good. How is your food? Good, this is all the food. <laughs> she got a lot of food. <laughs> I'm hungry. Yeah. It was a couple days after I have been back. Um, I <laughs> don't know when I'll get around to editing the whole vlog. Um, I definitely also want to do a video just talking about my experience because I couldn't get too in depth to it because there were people around me all the time. <laughs> um, you know, you just don't really want to spill your guts out when people are listening, so. But I plan on doing a video, um, and yeah, I don't care who watches that video, but it's just like in the moment, you know, it's kind of weird to be spilling your guts out to a camera while people are nearby. Anyway, I will be doing a just response video of my experience and things that I learned and all that jazz um, sometime soon. And yeah, I am back in civilization now. Um, the first couple of days, and I think I even still am, I've just been like adjusting to all of the stimuli that <laughs> I haven't had for nine full days. And it's been a little tough and just weird. It's just, I've I mainly just felt kind of like foggy, if that makes sense, and like I'm not even really here. And like the way home, um, I just was feeling like sick because the car was just like so much. And we went from like walking to like two to four miles an hour, whatever, um, to like going 70 some in a car. And it honestly felt like I was on a roller coaster. It's been a little bit to adjust, but it feels very good to be home and to be in my own bed. For some people, I know it's not like a big thing at all, but for me, it really is because I've never done anything like that. So just my experience, whatever. Um, but yeah, today I slept until 1030 and like crashed at 10 last night so it was like 11 hours of sleep but i just want to officially end this vlog of backpacking um in my robe <laughs> very different from what this whole vlog has been thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed and i also did not want to put um music in this vlog because i just sometimes i just really like just the sound of nature and my heavy breathing <laughs> from being out of breath and hiking to be the background vlog or background music. Yeah. Anyway, I'll see you in my next video.